Hey, what's up YouTube fam? Today I've got to clean up some aluminum parts off this 03 CRF450 that I've been parting out. So I'm going to give away my secrets on how I get aluminum so darn clean. Let's get started. These are all the parts I'll be giving a makeover to. You're going to be amazed at the final result. So there's a few things I need to do before I start cleaning. On the shock, I'm going to pull up the bumper here. That way I can clean underneath it. And on the swing arm, I'm going to yank out these chain adjuster bolts. It's always nice to clean those separately since they seize pretty often. The first step in my cleaning process is to drop these parts into the soak tank that has heated degreaser in it. So this is simple green degreaser mixed with water and heated to about, I want to say like 150 degrees or so. It's pretty toasty. As you can see, it's steaming right now. Going to drop the shock in here as well. So I'm going to let these parts soak in here for about 10 to 15 minutes, pull them out and run them through the pressure wash cabinet. I've had the swing arm soaking for plenty long enough. Let's see what the pressure washer can do with it. Turned out pretty solid. I'm gonna finish it off with some magwell cleaner. So I find that if I use the magwell cleaner on the sides here, it makes it really spotty. But if I use it up front, it works amazing. So the mag wheel did a great job on the cast part of the swing arm here. This is the product I'm using. It's called mag wheel cleaner made by Eagle One. I'll put the link in the description where you can buy it. So you just spray it on, let it sit for about 10 to 15 seconds, brush it around and then hose it off. It's that simple. So after cleaning, I'm going to dry the swing arm off and then re-grease the bearings up front here and reinstall the chain adjuster bolts. For the chain adjuster bolts, I'll be using this anti-seize lubricant to keep things from rusting. Now for the pivot bearings, I can finally show you guys my new toy. So this is a mini grease gun. You can operate it with one hand, works pretty slick. A few of you guys recommended it to me, so thank you for that. I'll actually put the link to where I bought it, the Amazon link, down below. Been really, uh, really happy with it so far. So I'm going to pop these bearings apart, clean things up, and re-grease them.
The swing arm is all done and it is looking mint. I'm gonna move on to the shock now. It's been soaking for a while. Oh yeah, she's gonna clean up real nice. The wheel cleaner actually works really good on the shock too. So I'm gonna clean this thing up even more. Well, that is it for the shock. Looks freaking awesome. As for the rest of the parts, I've had them soaking in here and now it's time for pressure washing. So the process is exactly the same. Pressure wash them and then whatever needs magwell cleaning, I'll freshen it up with that. Pretty much every single one of these parts could use the help of the Magua cleaner, with the exception of the shifter here. This is anodized, and Magua cleaner actually strips anodizing, so probably not a good idea to run that through the, uh, the bucket of Magua cleaner here. So I'm just gonna load up these parts into a little bin here and drop them into the bucket of Magua cleaner. After a minute or two of soaking, Gonna pull out the parts and give them a little scrub down. I've got a whole pile of fresh parts here. This stuff looks amazing. The last bit of work for the day is the grease of the linkage and the Kickstarter pivot.
I've also got some more CRF 450 parts down here that I gotta clean up. So I'm just gonna show you the before and after of all these parts. The process for cleaning is pretty simple, just degreaser and a brush. And this is after, this stuff turned out pretty good. Now it's on to putting the stuff for sale on the website. Alrighty guys, I've got all these parts finished up and everything is now up for grabs on my website, which is revivemoto.com if you didn't already know. So I've got a good selection of CRF 450 parts in there right now. Head over there and take a look. I really hope you guys were able to pick up a thing or two from the video. Always appreciate you watching and I will see you all later.